Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode on this channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also ding the bell for notifications so you'll know when I put out future videos. In today's episode, Jane Foster, she is not the female Thor. She is the mighty Thor. There's a difference apparently, but to me, it doesn't make a difference whatsoever. This movie is going to be woke. It will be. Now, we all saw and heard that um, Thor would be coming back for a fourth movie. And this fourth movie will be based off the comic book, The Mighty Thor. Now, that comic book line, The Mighty Thor, was about Jane Foster becoming Thor. Now, why is this... Thor part four, how does Chris Hemsworth kind of fit into this? I don't think he's going to be the star of this movie for one thing, because this Mighty Thor comic book was mainly centered around Jane Foster becoming Thor because she ends up getting cancer and she has to take chemotherapy and everything like that. And when she takes on Milnor, she becomes worthy. It pushes all the cancer out of her and also it pushes out all of the chemotherapy. But when she doesn't have the power, it comes back. So the damage has really already been done with this, if you ask me. The Mighty Thor. This has to be one of the worst ideas that the MCU has come out with. And I know there's people out there that's going to say, well, it's based on a comic book. True, it is. It's based off a comic book that Disney owned and started back in 2015 or 2014, I should say. So this is something that they wanted to get woke and put out there. So now all of the, uh, the SJWs and everything, they're like, this is based on a comic. Yeah, a Disney influenced comic book. But anyway, Taika Waititi has clarified that she is not the female Thor. If you look here, somebody says, completely normal and makes sense that when Thor is a man, he is Thor, and when Thor is a woman, she is female Thor. Taika Waititi says, correction, she is mighty Thor. So there's a difference, she's not female Thor. But here's the thing, why does she have to be Thor? Why can't Thor himself be Thor anymore? Now, based on a comic book line, Thor becomes unworthy and he can't, he can't no longer weld um, Minor. And apparently Jane Foster, she becomes worthy. Now, this is just more destruction of the character of Thor. I've already mentioned it before. The way he was treated in Avengers Endgame that was just horrible, the way he was portrayed. In a quitter, out of shape, fat, they just made fun of the Thor character throughout that whole entire movie. He doesn't want to be king of Asgard anymore. He gives it to Valkyrie for no good reason. So this movie is going to be all about the women. It's going to be about Jane Foster. It's going to be about Valkyrie. Thor, he's a side character in a movie with his own name. Think of that. He really is going to be a side character in this movie in his own name because they have to push out the men, bring in the women to replace the men. Why couldn't they do something new and original with Jane Foster? This is just completely lazy. It is so lazy. It's so ridiculous. And this comic book line was a flop. They canceled the comic book line uh, last year, I believe. Nobody was buying a comic book because it made absolutely no sense whatsoever. No, nobody was buying into Thor being anything but Thor. But now Thor has to be Jane Foster. So Thor won't have his powers because she's going to be um, handling Milnor in this movie and take all his power. Think of that. I told you before, Hollywood is fresh out of ideas. Disney They've already destroyed Star Wars. The MCU was on a great track. 
they were at the top of the world with Avengers Endgame. And now, they're just going crashing and burning now into Phase 4. Phase 4 doesn't seem interesting at all, if you ask me. The, the, the Eternals doesn't sound interesting. Blade is coming after Phase 4. That's going to be a Phase 5 thing. I don't know what happened to Kevin Feige. I can honestly say I don't trust Kevin Feige anymore. This is probably going to be one of the worst ideas that he has greenlit since he's been the president of Marvel Studios. Thor Love and Thunder, I don't even like the name. The name sounds like some kind of a bad 70s porn movie if you ask me. But that's just my thoughts on it. Uh, do you guys actually like the name Thor Love and Thunder? They should change the name to Thor Love and Woke because that's what it sounds like. So she's Thor. He's not Thor anymore, but hey, they ruined him in Avengers Endgame. And I, I liked Avengers Endgame, but I absolutely hated what they did with Thor in that movie. So guys, what do you think of this? No more female Thor. She is the mighty Thor. And she is going to be the main character in this movie. I can't believe Chris Hemsworth is going to be a side character in a movie with his name in it. But to me, Thor is his name. It's not a title. So why did they have to call her Mighty Thor? Couldn't she just be like the Mighty Jane Foster? I mean, that's her name. Thor is his name. It's not a title. It's not like king or queen. But I digress. But guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. And we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix. Out.